Or just to double oh, it started it. now. Okay, I'll just edit this bit out. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hi, guys. Um, We're super excited. I'm sure you all recognize our special guest. <laughs> we are with Nikki Reed, which is amazing. She's one of our good girlfriends. She was also a mama bear to her baby girl, Bodie, who's delicious. Because we want to name all of our kids the same thing. The same. We literally have the exact same baby names for all of our babies. <laughs> It's better if we're just open about it and we talk about it. So, so when it happens, then we'll be like, yeah, we that's weird. It. We also, no joke, accidentally all showed up in overalls today. I know. We're exactly and in we the same colors. we're both wearing white. Which that's is... why we put her in the middle. Yes. <laughs> um, it's bound to happen. I know. Our brains are just sort of coming together. Also, yeah. you have to wear things you can nurse in, so. That's, that's exactly right. Options are limited. That's Overalls true. it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, Sarah, do you want to ask our first question? I sure do. Okay. Nikki, um, <laughs> <laughs> our first question comes from Malin Sita. Um, hi. Hi. Um, she is trying to get pregnant. She hasn't, it has not been a very easy journey. Mm. She was on birth control for 10 years. She's 27, afraid that birth control might have been the reason why she's not getting pregnant. Do you have mm. any natural ways um, of trying to conceive? Do any of us have natural ways? So, I don't know if you guys were on birth control, but um, I'm glad she asked that because I had a similar um journey and a lot of concerns in that area because I was also on the pill for well over 10 years I think and um, I remember thinking like the second I got off either nothing would work or everything would work and mm -hmm. I wasn't sure which way it was going to go so <clears throat> I uh, it took a while for my body to adjust I don't remember exactly how many months but um, long enough for me to start going Oh gosh, like did I did I hurt myself? Did I destroy mm -hmm. my body? Mm -hmm. Is it ever gonna be normal again? Um, I did a lot of really natural things. I did a lot of acupuncture. I did a lot of um, I took Vitex, is that Vitex is great. Yeah, it regulates of, your period. Yeah, Chase <clears throat> Tree. It's, it's also, also great called Chase Tree Berry. When you're breastfeeding, Vitex is amazing to help bring on your periods again. Oh, oh I yeah. didn't know that. There you go. Um, what else did I do? Uh, I ate a lot of really warming foods. Um, I don't know if that's, you know, everybody has a different approach to that, but I remember, um, my Chinese medicine doctor talking to me about, you know, of course, incorporating, uh, vegetables and, you know, salad and all of that stuff, uh, when, when you, when you feel like it, but also remembering to eat a lot of warming foods for your core. Yeah, I've heard that too. Um... What did you guys do? Are you uh, on the pill? I had ovulation a... sticks, I did. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, I that's did. right. Because I was actually not ovulating when I thought I was ovulating, so it took us six months to get pregnant with Bodhi um, because I just assumed I was ovulating when everyone else does, like around day 14. Mm. And then I realized that I'm a late ovulator, so I don't ovulate until around day, between day 21 and day 23. And so I was like, I'm doing Always? ovulation sticks. Yeah, like I mean, now? it depends. My periods have never been totally regular. They're usually off by a week or two. Um, and so I just feel like for me, it's a lot easier to get pregnant when I'm using the digital clear blue ovulation sticks. Uh, and it'll give you a flashy, smiley face when you're about to ovulate and they're your fertile days. But one thing I didn't know is that it also tells you that flashy face stays if you're pregnant. It works as a... Oh, you can use as a pregnancy test exactly. as well. Yeah. I've heard that as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had a bit of a confusing moment with that because I also ovulated at the wrong time and I thought I knew, you know, I thought my body would be on a schedule and it wasn't. And I was like, wow, I'm ovulating for a really <laughs> long time. Just getting like a ton of Like, what's going bases. on? And then I remember after finding out that I was pregnant, still like, peeing on the rest of my ovulation. <laughs> it was like so there. confused. Like, was like, Should I just, like every day I just want to make sure am I still pregnant? Still <laughs> oh my gosh, I them. did that too. <laughs> um, oh. I was on birth control for over 10 years too and I actually had uh, cysts on my ovaries because of birth control. Yes. I mean. And um, I actually went to an acupuncturist as well and 
Uh, it took a couple of months for my body to regulate, but the acupuncturist told me that if you've ever had like cramping with your period or if you have really heavy periods and you have a lot of like um, cramping on your ovulation days, he said um, it usually means that you have like clogged pipes and you need, um, your blood flow needs to be, you know, circulating better. Uh -huh. And so acupuncture can help with that. And so I did acupuncture, and as soon as I got that regulated, I got pregnant. Boom. Mm. Amazing. Boom. Yeah. Thank great. you so much for the question. <laughs> Thank you. Good luck. All right. Next up is, you want to take this one? Yeah, sure. <laughs> AJ Bochnet. <laughs> um, can you talk about the importance of not losing yourself in the role of being a mum? I feel like we just mm. talked about this, Nikki. Um, and losing your own identity and self-esteem. My eldest is 15, my youngest is five. Um, how do you not lose yourself as an individual when you have kids? Great question. Mm. Oh, you need to have self-care, I think, as a mama bear. Because you're constantly giving out, giving out, giving out. Uh, and I think it's just incredibly important to remember that you had a big, bright, beautiful life before kids and you can still continue to lean into your own passions and your individuality outside of being a mother. Mm. I think that's really integral. It's very hard, though. Right. I find it hard. Yeah, and when you're past this stage, like her kids are at 5 and 15, so she's past the stage of nap time. I feel yeah. like nap time is the first moment it's like the first gift you get where you go oh this is the moment when I can like go and book. do my stuff like my yeah, but how often stuff, do you go right? do your stuff like read a book I'm going like I, I don't read hour. a book I, I, I go work <laughs> 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 yeah like when was the last time it's you took a bath, bath like a nice luxurious right. bath I have thought about time. that a lot like <laughs> when was the last time I took a bath I do uh, try to get a workout in now every now and then during mm. a nap time and so yeah, I'll just you are like better than I. slip it in. A but couple squats and a couple <laughs> squats. You've become very good at multitasking, that I will say. You're yes. like, I've got 20 minutes. Yeah. If I'm lucky, here's what I'm going to get done in that time. Yeah. I don't know. I'm still really in it. I mean, my, my daughter is 12 months, so I'm just... I guess I can start saying a year. I'm having a uh, yeah. <laughs> time transitioning. Yeah, yeah. And um, then you go back to saying the months. Though. You do, you, you do. Because now I say 19 months. months. She's 15 months. That's so. right, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's like much different than 12. I'm having a hard time letting go. I <laughs> know. <laughs> but I think, uh, I think finding time to just sort of love on yourself a little bit. Like we were talking the other day when we were spending time together about taking care of our skin. Oh, yes. Because <laughs> that's the one thing I wake up in the morning. That's not the one thing. That is one of the things. Yeah. I wake up in the morning and I go, wow, I'm so dry. And like, <laughs> I just, I think I'm crusty. And I feel like the life is just sucked. It, it is literally sucked out. Yeah. Of yeah. You're, yeah. You're just I, giving that's your, so like, your true. whole soul and being. And you can totally, to that. That's so true. Nourish, you know, <laughs> nourish yourself in whatever way feels good. I think sometimes I just want to like dip my face in a bowl of olive oil. That's my greatest fantasy <laughs> <Yes>. right now. <laughs> How long can I keep my face Slather in olive oil? Bodies in coconut oil. Oh, so yeah. that and and um, there is such a fine line though because I want to also say to all the the mamas, being a mom is also. I know we're talking about separation, but. I think for me, I had to actually kind of go the opposite way because I've, I've always, you know, I'm working a lot and while I was pregnant, I decided now's a great time to start another company. Like, this is what <laughs> you should be doing. And, and so I launched my company during that time and then my husband and I, I also started about that. Yeah, sort of we should talk about Can you say what that company yeah, is? Yeah, <laughs> it's called Bayou. Bayou. Um, Bayou with love, actually. Um, sort of named after, you know, my husband grew up in the Bayou in Louisiana and I'm, you know, very inspired by nature and... And um, it was my journey with sustainable fashion and, you know, really trying to kind of connect with people through something that meant a lot to me. And, and it took a while to find, I think, an area that felt safe enough for the public and, and consumers to sort of shift their way of thinking and, and say, you know what, I am going to maybe change the way that I consume, the way that I live, even yeah. if it's, you know, in a... In a in a very minor way, um, this idea of all or nothing, I really wanted to abandon and, and um, 
you know, when I was talking about sustainable fashion with uh, materials like uh, bags made from recycled plastic from the ocean and stuff like that, it was, you know, that's a very scary thing for people because, you know, just in all honesty, everyone says, oh, well, why would I buy that when, you know, I could spend $400 on leather and that feels real to me. Like plastic, plastic is a very scary word, I think, for a lot of people mm -hmm. trying to shift their consciousness. Mm -hmm. and, and so um, we ended up moving into a space that I think felt really comfortable um, and luxurious for people, which is um, taking, extracting in a very sustainable um, way gold from the motherboards of computers and Oof. creating um, a, a, you know, a fine jewelry line with that gold. And it's all 14, 18 karat gold. And so I think that's cool. an area that made people feel like, okay, I. I do want to wear that because it has a message and something that I believe in, but it's also it's gold. Beautiful and chic as and, well. Yeah. Yeah. So it was a space that I that I think um, I don't know. It it feels right now. It feels kind of magical. Like I I really think that the response has been super positive and and um, it's kind of like opened the the portal, you know, for for that kind of. I love that it's all suffering mm -hmm. free. That's what I love. We really connected on that. Suffering free. Suffering free. I love it. I think yeah. it's beautiful. But there might also be something in that that is part of you doing something for yourself and for your family. You're like taking, anytime that you're working on that, it's something that you're passionate about. So that's mm. kind of your time when you're, that's great. even if your child is there, this is something that's like, you know, using your brain in a different way and your body in a different way and... You know, sure. there's there's definitely something where you're you've set that up for yourself while you were pregnant, and now this you know business is alive and it's got a beautiful message and purpose. But you're also being able to put your energy into that. So maybe there's something running and operating right? and doing it all and doing like all website imagery and all you know production exactly. management. Ah, yeah. It is. It is. Um. Well, where I was going with that, and thank you both. Of course. Is just that I think I had to kind of um find my like a sense of uh, I don't know being okay with also you know being a mom is a full-time job mm -hmm. and that also that in and of itself gives you a sense of purpose and so yes of course there's also the struggle of like oh I want to find my independence and still you know have my life and the things that make me me and do all of that and I have days where I wake up and that's like that's in the forefront of my mind like how can I be me today yeah. mm -hmm. you know like I just want to I just want to be myself I want to take a bath I want to go yes. to work and I want to socialize I want to have dinner with my friends and yeah but then there are other days where I'm like wow this is the most like what an honor actually to be able to <clears throat> just be a mom mm -hmm. you know that's like the greatest simultaneously that's also the greatest I don't know it gives me the greatest sense of purpose mm -hmm. as well so yes you know navigating that journey of separation but um also just really being in it you were talking being... about your skin and I always do masks that's my thing <laughs> that's yeah. your when you've got nap yeah. time oh, you stick and a mask new on. thing you said you've been doing which thing, the beauty, which one? the beauty. Oh, the beauty sandwich. Oh my gosh. <laughs> she, she showed me a picture of it. She's like, it's a little I'm doing this thing called Yeah, the it's like sandwich. waking up the collagen in my face. No, but I love doing a mask. When you're talking about your skin, I was like, oh, maybe she does masks too, but... It's like it looks something like she I does did masks not every day. Do masks I know. I was well, like, I didn't discover okay. mud masks until I had children, and I would wake up and look just in like the mirror. My skin is so dry. I feel like I'm like in like see like. And you get about you know, forty seconds desert. before someone interrupts. And you. then I put a mask crack. on. And oh, now my children are, are just used to it. They're like, oh, mommy's, mommy's got a mask. Yeah, <laughs> so cute. I um. I try to make stuff. You gotta like whip it up in the kitchen yeah. really fast. Like, how can I stick some honey and some oil? Before she wakes up. Yeah, and then, great. Yeah, totally. Um, I amazing. All right, guys, we're out of time, but thank you so much. I this love is you guys. such a beautiful privilege, thank and you guys for we were so excited me. to have her be a part of the community because she has mm. an, a beautiful voice, and I just love the way she parents and her philosophy on all of it. So. It's been a pleasure. I Thank you so both. much. Thank More you. soon. If I'm invited <laughs> back, I'll see you guys. Yes, Absolutely. she's coming back. <laughs> Bye. Bye.